Good morning. Welcome back to the Daily Bible Chapter. It is May the 6th of 2022, and today we're reading Judges chapter 7. And Judges chapter 7 is about Gideon's valiant 300. Then Jerubbabel, that is Gideon, and all the people who were with him rose early and encamped beside the well of Herod, so that the camp of the Midianites was on the north side of them by the hill of Morah in the valley. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel claim glory for itself against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now therefore, proclaim in the hearing of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart at once from Mount Gilead. And twenty-two thousand of the people returned, and ten thousand remained. But the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. Then it will be that that of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you, the same shall go with you, and of whomever I say to you, This one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, Every one who laps from the water with his tongue as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, every one who gets down on his knees to drink, and the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was three hundred men. But all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink water. Then the Lord said to Gideon, By the three hundred men who lapped, I will save you, and deliver the Midianites into your hand. Let all the other people go every man to his place. So the people took provisions and their trumpets in their hands, and he sent away all the rest of Israel, every man to his tent, and retained those three hundred men. Now the camp of Midian was below him in the valley. It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hand. But if you are afraid to go down, go down to the camp with Purah, your servant, and you shall hear what they say, and afterward your hand shall be strengthened to go down against the camp. Then he went down with Pura, his servant, to the outpost of the armed men who were in the camp. Now the Midianites and the Amalekites, all the people of the east, were lying in the valley as numerous as locusts, and their camels were without number, as the sand by the seashore in multitude. And when Gideon had come, there was a man telling a dream to his companion. He said, I have had a dream. To my surprise, a loaf of barley bread turned into the camp of Midian. It came to a tent and struck it so that it fell and overturned, and the tent collapsed. Then his companion, companion answered and said, This is nothing else but the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. Into his hand God has delivered Midian and the whole camp. And so it was, when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and its interpretation, that he worshipped. He returned to the camp of Israel, and said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered the camp of Midian into your hand. Then he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put a trumpet into every man's hand, with empty pitchers and torches inside the pitchers, and he said to them, Look at me and do likewise. Watch. And when I come to the edge of the camp, you shall do as I do. When I blow the trumpet, I and all who are with me, then you also blow the trumpets on every side of the whole camp, and say, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the outpost of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch, just as they had posted the watch. And they blew the trumpets and broke the pitchers that were in their hands. Then the three companies blew the trumpets and broke the pitchers. They held the torches in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands for blowing. And they cried, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And every man stood in his place all around the camp, and the whole army ran and cried out and fled. When the three hundred blew the trumpets, the Lord set every man's sword against his companion throughout the whole camp, and the army fled to Beth Acacia towards Zir Zerir, and as far as the border of Abel Mahola by Tabith. And the men of Israel gathered together from Naphtali, 
Asher, and all Manasseh, and pursued the Midianites. Then Gideon sent messengers throughout all the mountains of Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and seize from them the watering places as far as Beth Barah and the Jordan. Then all the men of Ephraim gathered together, and seized the watering places as far as Beth Barah and the Jordan. And they captured two princes of the Midianites, Oreb and Zeb. They killed Oreb at the rock of Oreb, and Zeb they killed at the winepress of Zeb. They pursued Midian and brought the heads of Oreb and Zeb to Gideon on the other side of the Jordan. Judges chapter 7 And I, I mean, I know I've said this before, um, as I read the Bible again, or as I read the Bible more, maybe, different things stand out to me, and things that I, I guess I never thought about before, or just didn't register previously, but... You know, this time what stood out to me was that, you know, um, I'm trying to find the verse. Oh, verse 2. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give, give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel claim glory for itself against me, saying my own hand has saved me. So, you know, I mean, I, I've heard this story of this 300 men and, and you know, I remembered about how they were sorted out by who drank the water and who didn't, but I didn't realize that it was because God wanted to essentially perform a miracle so that Israel couldn't take credit for destroying the Midianites, so that it would, basically you would know that it was God destroying the Midianites um, because he only had 300 people as opposed to an army of, what was it, some 10,000 plus no, 10,000 remained, and so there was 32,000 people originally, and 22,000 left because they were scared or, or fearful, and then 10,000 remained, and then he narrowed that down to 300, um, and I guess 300 was the magic number that you would know that Israel didn't do that on its own without God. Um, but anyway, that's what kind of what stood out to me today and what I was thinking about as I was reading through there. And I uh, just want to say thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll join us tomorrow for Judges Chapter 8.